Hello everyone, this is Mamita Mond and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 22 of exercise 3F of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for, for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog masquerade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CPSC, ICC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise 3F questions 1 to 22 of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers. And topics are list common multiples, properties of HCF and LCM, and find LCM by using HCF. Let's solve some questions. Now, question number 14 answer true or false. First, bit. the LCM of two even numbers is their product. If we take the examples of uh, suppose two number two even numbers are. 4 and 6. 4 and 6 are two even numbers. We have to find their product. Uh, LCM. LCM of 4 and 6 is 4, 6. 2, 6. So LCM is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 3, which is 12. But uh, here it is given that the LCM of 2 even number is their product. So product you know, product is product of two numbers this uh, four and six will be twenty-four and twenty-four is not equal to twelve. We got the uh, LCM. LCM of four and six is twelve, but here product of two numbers four and six is twenty-four. Twenty-four is not equal to twelve. So this is false. Now question number second B. The LCM of two numbers is always greater than the, um, greater than either um, greater than either of the numbers the lcm of two numbers is always greater than the either of the numbers suppose 4 and 6 4 and 6 lcm is 12 lcm of 4 and 6 is 12 and 4 and 6 is 12 12 is lcm of two numbers is always greater than either of the numbers so 12 is greater than 4 and 12 is greater than 6. Because two numbers are 4 and 6. If we take the numbers 4 and 6, then the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. And 12 is greater than either of the numbers. That is 12 is greater than 4 and 12 is greater than 6. So it is true. So LCM of two even numbers is their product. This is false. And LCM of two even, two numbers is always greater than either of the numbers is true. Now question number third bit. The LCM of two prime numbers is always their product. Uh, suppose take two prime numbers three and five. And LCM of three and five is three multiplied with five that is fifteen. And suppose take the numbers uh, 11 and 7. And LCM of 11 and 7 is 11 multiplied with 11 multiplied with 7 that is 77. So LCM of two prime numbers is always their product. This is true. Fourth bit. If one of uh, two numbers is a factor of the other, then then their LCM is always equal to the factor. If one of two numbers is a factor of the other, then their LCM is always equal to their factor. This is false. If one of two numbers is a factor of the other, then their LCM is always equal to the factor. This is false. Now question number 15. Multiple choice questions MCQ. Which of the following is the LCM of 9, 14 and 21? These are the options given. First find out LCM of 9, 14 and 21. So applying the division method, we find the LCM. That is 9, 14 and 21. 
Okay, let's go. Two. Two seven the fourteen twenty one. Now three. Three three the nine seven. Three seven the twenty one. Now seven. Three one one. Now LCM is LCM of nine fourteen and twenty one is two. Multiply with three. Multiply with seven. Multiply with three. Two three is seven six six seven is forty two forty two multiply with three is three four is twelve and three two is six. Which uh, that is one hundred twenty six. So LCM of nine fourteen and twenty one is one hundred twenty six. Option B is the correct option. So LCM of nine fourteen and twenty one is twenty one is one hundred twenty six. Option B that is one hundred twenty six is the correct answer. Now question number sixteen. Multiple choice question MCQ. Three cities tour buses leave the bus stop at nine a.m. Bus A returns every thirty minutes. Bus B returns every twenty minutes, and bus C returns every forty-five minutes. What is the next time the buses will all return at the same time to the bus stop? These options are given. So three city buses leave the bus stop at nine a.m. and bus A returns every thirty thirty minutes, bus B twenty minutes, and bus C returns every forty five minutes. So first find out the LCM least common multiple of these numbers: thirty minutes, twenty minutes, and forty five minutes of these buses A, B, C. So LCM of thirty. Uh, Twenty and forty-five. This number is divisible by five. Five, five six is the prime number. Five, five six is the thirty. Five four, five nine. And this is two, two three, two two nine, three two nine, and three, three one two three. So LCM will be. Mm. This is five two and three two three. So LCM will be five multiplied with two multiplied with three multiplied with two multiplied with three. It's five two is a ten ten three is a thirty thirty two is a sixty sixty three is a one eighty. One eighty minutes. So LCM of these numbers, thirty, twenty, and forty-five minutes is one one eighty minutes. Now one eighty minutes is uh, three hours. That is divide uh, with sixty minutes. That is one hour. Sixty minutes is one hour. That is equal to three hours. So one eighty minutes divided by sixty minutes, that is one hour, is three hours. Now the uh, three tour buses leaves the bus stop at nine a.m. So next next time will be the buses will return at the same time the bus stop will be nine plus three hours. Three hours plus nine a.m. It will be nine. After one hour nine is ten, ten then two uh, ten nine plus three is twelve. This is twelve hours. That is twelve noon. Twelve hours is twelve noon. So option B, that is twelve noon, is the correct option. So the next time the buses will all return at the same time to the bus stop is twelve noon. So option B, that is twelve noon, is the correct answer. Now question number seventeen, multiple choice question, MCQ. The least number of five digits which is exactly divisible by sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-six, and fifty-four is. These options are given. So first find out LCM, least common multiple of the number sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-six, and fifty-four. So sixteen, twenty-four. 
फर्स्ट डिवाइड दिस नंबर विथ टू प्राइम नंबर टू टू एट जैर सिक्सटीन टूएल्व एटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन टू फोर सिक्स नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन टू थ्री नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन टू थ्री नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन एटी बी बी टू नाउ एलसीएम इज एलसीएम विल बी टू मल्टीप्लाइड विच टू इज सी ए फोर फोर मल्टीप्लाइड टू इज एटीन एटीन एट टू मल्टीप्लाइड विच टू इज फोर टू मल्टीप्लाइड विच टू मल्टीप्लाइड विच टू 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 दें थ्री थ्री टू थ्री और टू एंड थ्री 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 इसे सिक्सटीन एंड सिक्सटीन एंड इसे ट्वेंटी सेवन सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ट्वेंटी सेवन सेवन सिंगल थर्टी टू एंड सेवन वन जा सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर इस वन टू स्मॉलेट नंबर Now we have to divide ten thousand with this LCM of these numbers that is four hundred thirty-two. So least number of five digits is ten thousand. Smallest number of five digit, smallest five digit number is ten thousand. Now divide this number with four hundred thirty-two. And this remainder, remainder is ten minus six is four. This is four. And which one is fifteen? Fifteen minus ten is six. Sixty-four. Remainder is sixty-four, and the quotient is twenty-two. Now the least number of five digit which is exactly divisible by these numbers is ten thousand. So the number least number will be ten thousand plus this is divided four hundred thirty two minus sixty two. This is equal to ten thousand. Twelve minus twelve is eight, and this is twelve minus six is three. Ten thousand three hundred sixty. So option B, that is ten thousand three hundred sixty-eight, is the least number of five digit, which is exactly divisible by sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-six, and fifty-four. So option B. That is ten thousand three hundred sixty-eight is the correct answer, and the least number of five digits, which is exactly divisible by sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-six, and fifty-four, is ten thousand thirty-six.
subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i'll reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you